Connecticut. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I was born in Brockton, New York. And I'm from Gunnison, Colorado. The Youth Conservation Program is an integrative educational and workforce program. The primary part of YCP is, is trail labor. With that, we try to build a foundation for the kids with a strong work ethic. But outside of that, we also integrate multiple different educational opportunities with different departments. They go home tired and they tell us every day that was such a hard day but we had such a great time and they're so proud of themselves and they learn that if you learn to work hard, you're very rewarded in the end. One of our major projects this year is to remove about 550 to 600 feet of asphalt from the Lupin Meadows trailhead leading from the trailhead to the parking lot. It was installed about 40 years ago and has become not only obsolete, but it's also just detrimental to hikers and it's really not that fun to walk on. It's been a project that our trail crew personally has been wanting to do for probably a, a, a good decade, but we've just never had the manpower to do it. And with a crew of 20 to 25 healthy young teenagers, it's, it's pretty much a blessing. So the first thing they did was peeled about 403 feet of native timber, and now we're putting in flat notches so we can connect all these logs, stack them on top of one another, and then inside of those logs, we'll build the trail up with first a layer of crushed rock, then a layer of road base, and then a layer of soil, all of which they're bringing in by hand and wheelbarrow. We're getting thanks from all the way from the top of the line down, chief of maintenance, superintendent of the park, and as you can see, it's a really, really large undertaking. There's just no way that one of our normal four to six person crews would have ever been able to do something like this. So we're pretty excited. The Worcester Draw project has been going on for many years now. One of the main parts of this project was about a 40 foot section of trail where the horses had been walking too low on the trail and that becomes dangerous for the horse and the rider because it becomes very loose soil. So our plan was to come in rebench the trail and then build some sort of retaining structure. The Youth Conservation Program took our plan one step further. They have big eyes and they want to work really hard, so they saw a one huge single piece, a 40-foot section of log, anywhere from 12 to 14 inches in diameter, and said, we can get that down here, we're going to move it down this hill, we're going to put it in place, and then we're going to re-dirt over it, no one's ever even going to know it was here. It was really inspiring for me to see the kids want to use this huge log. I wanted to do it in three sections. They wanted to do this one giant piece. And sure enough, it worked out really well. The YCP is picking up on this really quickly. You enhance a visitor experience, but they don't even know that you were there. They think that everything that they're walking along is natural. I work at YCP to become more in touch with nature. I like working with all these good guys, and I like doing hard work. I like YCP because I get a good work ethic from it. I did YCP for the skills that I would learn and for the people that I would meet. Getting outside and hiking every day. Get to maintain this beautiful park right here and so others can enjoy it. Get to have lunch in the woods. When it's finished, I'm going to be in, in probably the best shape of my life. I've built great relationships with the people in the park. I love spending my summer in the mountains of Grand Teton National Park. And I love the YCP because I get to spend my whole summer outside. And uh, I get to you know work in one of the most beautiful places on the earth, so can't ask for more than that. <laughs>